Ah. Yes, sir. What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Can y'all hear me? Y'all good? I'm trying to see. Got that Meek Mill in the back. Rick Ross. So, question is, is DB Shanker slash USA Trucks slash um, Davis, is it a good company? Um, I've been with this company for about 90 plus days, right? And that's about three months and some change. And so far, I want to say this is one of the best companies I've been a part of. This is my eighth year of driving, right? So just go with me for right now, right? Uh, they have a low board. That's what I'm doing right now curr currently. So that's all I have knowledge of. Low board is your company driver but you move like a independent contractor. So I really like this company. If you are one of those people that don't like the dispatch sending you every which way, come to USA Trucks. Um, these guys go by the GeoTab. The GeoTab is a little different from the Qualcomm and the Sonar and, and all these other, what's the name? The GeoTab is pretty good. It took me a while to learn like how everything worked. It, it, it does have a bit of a delay, but it's also pretty good. I mean, uh, DB Shanker and USA Truck. USA Truck, I've known about for years. I just didn't know everything, but they got bought out by DB Shanker. All right. DB Shanker is pretty cool, man. Uh, the company, the people, everybody's cool. With the low board, um, I'm an OTR guy, right? And I have been over my eight years. Um, and I've worked for Swift, Stevens Transport. I've worked for some other companies, Arter Express. I've worked for different companies. But USA Trucks, I like the freedom of going wherever I want to go. If I want to make $1,500 weekly, I can do that. This is a down year. I will say the pay isn't as great, but I can still push $1,500, $1,600 weekly. But you have to run because the pay isn't great. The pay right now, they're paying 54 cents. And like I said, it's a down year. You can go to other companies, but it's like, the way I see it is, you're basically paying, you're basically taking a pay cut for convenience. Now, mind you, let me tell you what I mean by that. I'm an OTR driver. USA Trucks and DB Shanker, they, they try not to go past I-35. They don't go past Dallas, Texas, pretty much. They go, they go Dallas, Texas and up. They don't fuck with the West Coast, which is great, 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 great. It's so boring on the West Coast. I got most of my tickets on the West Coast over my eight years. It's critical. Um, so USA Truck, when you're doing low board, you don't really have to worry about, let me give you the pros and cons, right? The pros are with this company, the pros are you can go where you want to. Like right now, I literally only do South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. I choose where I go. Of course, you still have to get it approved. You send it to your DM, your driver manager, and say, hey, can you go ahead and approve this so I can have this planned out already? I love planning out my week and, not, and knowing where I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It helps with my health and everything. Because you know when you're over the road, you're just eating sloppy, it's easy. But when you're coming back home or if you got a girl, in a particular state you want to see or a guy it's easy to tell them hey i'll be home every other day every two days or every day um 
I'm from Miami, Florida, so I like coming back and forth. I got a little sister down there. I got an older brother down there. I go back and back and forth with uh, seeing family and stuff like that. And it's a great, it's a great vibe, man. It's a really great vibe to to know, like, oh man, like I get to choose my route, even though I'm not an independent contractor. I never have to hear from my driver manager unless I have a safety violation, which I haven't had. Uh, so here are the cons. Just like any other company, they have policy. You can't drive, um, you can't stop on the side of the road. That's a no-go unless you have a mechanical issue or you have a health concern. It's the only time. It's an automatic termination. Zero tolerance. So I hardly ever stop on the side of the road. Uh, I'm gonna say something that you probably, you guys may not agree with, but I pee in bottles, I pee in cups, and I toss them out the window just so I don't have to stop driving. That's just purely what it is. I like my liver to run clean. Cause I drink coffee, I drink a bunch of water. I'm still an athlete at heart. And uh, yeah, man, uh, what else? You can't you can't park on the side of, you can't park on the ramp. You know how it's hard to find parking at night? You can't park on the side of the ramp. You gotta really be strategic when you stop and what time of day you stop. You get me? Uh, and for me, I typically drive 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. That way I can stop typically around 2.30 a.m. I mean, 2.30 p.m., you know, 1,400, 1,500, 1,600. Stop around that time. That way I can find great parking. Shoot, I've even slept um, at at the pump. I slept at the pump. Because when it's so packed, it's so, like, why? Why even leave? I'll put a cone right in front of me. I'll park them. And I'll wait for somebody to damn on my window. But I'm, I'm an eight-year driver, so I'm very strategic, and I understand how everything goes. Another con is you don't get a PC, a PC tab. You don't get a PC tab until you're with the company for six months. So that's tough because I'm, I'm accustomed to getting PC, personal convenience. I'm, a, I'm accustomed to getting personal convenience uh, just on principle. And um, that's, that's, that's a negative for me. Um, what else? Because you have those times where a police officer knock on your door. Hey, you can't park here. I've parked in a turning lane before outside of a Loves or a TA or a Pilot and park. You know, and they say, hey, you, you can't be here. But there's a bunch of trucks doing the same thing. And, you know, you have to get that, that sleep. So that, uh, when you do park illegally, because it's hard to find a tow truck. The tow truck ain't going to just tow you. They'll, they'll knock on your truck to see if you're there. And they'll wait about an hour before they... So understanding that, you know you're not really in a hurry, but when it's a police officer, you gotta then call your your dispatch and let them know, hey, I need some PC. So that, that could be aggravating because now you don't wanna go over your, your time, your HOS time, your DOT time. So what I do, man, police tell me I gotta move, I drive slow as shit, I don't go over five. Cause like once you get to six miles per hour, your drive kick in. It could be brutal, man. So you, you really have to find your find your ways uh figure things out you know know how to be strategic with how you move and how you talk and how everything goes uh, damn i can't even, i can't i don't got my nose ring in i normally have a nose ring we'll talk about that another time but um what else well yeah the, uh another con is on the load board and with the company sometimes there aren't any loads Sometimes there aren't any loads in that way. So you have to call your, your driving managers and say, hey, I need help. Can you help me find a load going this way? And they will help you. That's the great thing about this company. That's another pro. They will help you. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be on your ass. The goal is always to get 2K, 2K miles weekly. For the loader board, you want to make make sure you're, you're getting 2K worth of miles. So um, how am I able to do it? I get help from my DM. I always call, hey man, I can't find nothing. Can you help me find something right away? And it's best to get those loads in in the morning. With you being a company driver, they're gonna help you first. So they typically get in at like 8 a.m. You call them first thing, hey, hey, I'm looking at my loader board. I need something. I need something with 500 miles. I need something with 700 miles. I need something with a thousand miles. Depending on how far you want to go. See me, since I only go in South Carolina to Florida, I need something going from South Carolina to maybe Orlando and then back up to South Carolina or to Virginia, you know, back up and forth just to have those miles total up at the end. So I did my calculations, you know, 54 cents is not a lot, but you can make it work. You're paying for convenience, you know what I mean? 54 cents, cause this is a down year. Yes, I can go to other companies and make 65 cents, 70 cents, but 
I'm going all over the place. I don't do cold states. If you're like me, you don't want to do cold states. Um, like I said, I'm from Miami, Florida. I dress in flip flops. I got on flip flops now. I don't like coming out of flip flops. Shoot, 60 degrees is cold to me. I don't, <laughs> no, 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 no. So that's just me. But um, yeah, guys, I mean, for me, I like to work out. What this company also um, Of course they got cameras Just like any other company Have the, the lane The lane violations You know how you're driving And it makes that noise When you too far out the lane So annoying Make you feel like a rookie driver You ever been bowling And you got the You got the uh, <laughs> You got the setup Like Like you're a rookie Where you can't roll gutter It helps you roll It's like that Like it's like you got training wheels that um, I love that they have the J Briggs, everything's working. Some companies don't have the J Briggs. Um, with this company, this their miles per hour goes up to 71 miles per hour, so it's pretty cool. With with um, with the driver thing, you know what I mean? When you're coasting, I can't think of it right now, but it goes up to 71 miles per hour. But without without it, it goes up to 68 miles per hour. If you know, you know. Um, yeah, typically um, I took a trip going to New York For the first time I've never been to New York in my 8 years I was always told that it's a bad look Because the bridges and everything like that But I took a trip to Connecticut Passed through New York Went to Times Square, had a blast I parked somewhere in New Jersey um, I'm going to make a video of all the parking spaces That you can go to in New Jersey That are awesome Awesome, like big parking spaces you know what I mean? And just like any other place, you want to make sure you get there a little early so you can find good parking. But yeah, uh, so far I rate one out of 10. Let's say um, one out of five, one out of five USA trucks. I rate them a four out of five as far as company as a whole. I want to give you guys some more pros and cons. Um, more pros they have good trailers man they have of course every company have bad trailers but they have really really good trailers uh for the most part all the bad trailers there are some bad trailers some fucked up trailers and um typically on the trailers there are a lot of on these trailers there are a lot of um flat tires man so you got to call people out the uh the roadside assistant is pretty good pretty great they will come in less than an hour one hour you just gotta be in the right area and like i said if you have a blown tire you can pull on the side of the road that's a mechanical issue it's nothing you can do i remember one time i was driving and i i heard the, the pop but i didn't see it on my windows but every car passing me was telling me yo you have a your tire is on fire and i'm like oh whoa i pulled over it came to care of me and what my DM, my driver manager told me is to leave a paper trail. Let them know, like, hey, this is why I stopped on the side of the road. This is why, this is why, this is why. Um, they also have a camera for the rear, for the inside and outside. Uh, I don't care for the, the inside situation because you just don't know. You, I get naked when I go to sleep in the truck. I don't, I don't like wearing clothes in the truck. And, um, yeah, so you have to, you have to... Anybody bring on a truck, they have to sign a, a waiver and they do a background check. And if not, that's an automatic termination. If you got people riding with you and you haven't let the company know that's an automatic termination, you don't want those problems. So you might as well just do it the right way. That's why it's typically good. You can have somebody slide on you, like meet you, but like driving with you, you got to go through the, the proper channels, man. And uh, sometimes another con to this job, sometimes they don't always answer. Your driver manager is probably over 60 trucks. So some people are just rookies and they take forever on the phone and you wait on your driver manager. And, you know, I like the message. That way I have a paper trail of, yeah, I wrote you that. And they get back to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not that bad. But you just don't want to be sick. Whether it's roadside or you really need some information on something or you had a shipper and they're like, hey, we don't set Bob till you need to go get an empty truck. So once you know the lanes of where you need to be at to get loads, that's what any company. Once you know their lanes, you know, okay, I'm in Maryland. I need to get to Washington, 
because I know from Washington I can get to Miami. Oh, if I'm in Illinois, Chicago, or Milwaukee, I know from there I can get to Atlanta. They have a load going straight to Atlanta. Or if I'm in St. Louis, I know I can get a, 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 a lane to Houston. Knowing your company's lanes is always important, and they have, they have some great lanes. Another pro to this company is 75% dropping hook. Meaning you go there, you get the paperwork, you drop off your empty trailer and you pick up a load, you ain't gotta talk to nobody, you gone. Deuces. All they need to do is check the serial number and you gone. I mean, uh, um, you know, the thing on the back. That's all they need to check and you deuces. You can't ask for a better company than that. 75% drop hook. You know what I mean? That's a blessing. Especially when you gotta travel far, that means you could deliver early and you could deliver late or that day late. So it'll say 1 p.m. But you could deliver at 2300, which is like 11 at night. You don't have to deliver what time it is because it's a dropping hook. You're going to get it when I get to you. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. And I love that. You know what I mean? Uh, What else? What else? What else? The truck is pretty cool. I have a 2021. 2021, 2022. I yeah the truck is pretty great man i don't have too much issue with it my favorite truck is the volvo the um uh, i love the freightliner as far as the driving this company is filled with uh freightliners and internationals uh those are the main ones but they also have um peter belts and what else uh they have some cascadias but i'm a freightliner person uh another pro um another con is they don't have too many facilities right they just built this one in ellenwood they had one in forest park they just built this one in ellenwood around the time I, I started i think i started out in july here we are in october uh so they got here they got a driver lounge the driver lounge is pretty cool i'll give you guys a tour at some point but for the most part it's pretty cool man like like i said man you meet a lot of people truck drivers in general are good people they don't want no problem. They don't want no trouble. You see how, you know, you do your thing. You know what I mean? You only can drive the speed limit that they give you. Um, this company is pretty good, man. Like I said, man, if you're looking for a great company, a dope company, man, to start off with or to get home every day and you live on Southeast region or the Northeast region, USA Trucks is where it's at. It's definitely where it's at. I give this a four out of five one of the best companies I've been a part of, you know, and I've never used a, a loader board before. This is perfect, 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 perfect. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, my name is Cam. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. This is where it's at. I'll have my social medias and all that uh, down below in the description. If you want to follow me, I have my cash app on deck. Um, if you want to tip me, you want to drop something in, like, comment, subscribe. I'm looking to build my channel and you're a part of that. All right. That's all I want to say. Like, shout out to everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Let's see if we can get this going. Hey. Hey. I need to get some speakers, man. It ain't loud enough.